Database is one of the integral parts of any organization. To fully appreciate it, we need to understand its basic concepts. Hi, this is Jerry Esperanza. Thank you for visiting this blog. Enjoy the presentation. Data are about facts in a form of text, graphics, or even videos that we see every day. Information is useful to us when data are processed. When data are organized, we call it database. To understand fully what we mean, let us see the following example. This piece of data has no meaning to us. But if arranged on this format, we have our information. Metadata are data that describe data. If we want to know the properties of course code, descriptive title, and unit, we have this. Before database, we have file-based approach. In order programs can use data, metadata must be defined. Because developers are using their own data, comes duplication wherein each has its own copies of the same data. To each his own, Data sharing was limited that leads to excessive development time and maintenance. Imagine you're the programmer and you need to redefine every piece of data that you have defined before when working on a new information requirement. Long development time leads to inconsistency and prone to errors. On this figure, do we really need to have a separate data file when it means the same thing? Inconsistency means loss of integrity. Which one of these two files is true? Managing files occupies space. Not only it causes chaos on which file has data integrity, more troubles is entailed in maintaining it. Database approach Promises centralized data. Database administrator is assigned to control it. Programs can easily access it because metadata is defined on a standard way. A need for database management system arises. One of the benefits of 
DBMS is data duplication is minimized if not totally eliminated. Data is integrated where everyone may have access on it. The diagram shows a typical DBMS setup. Let us discuss why database approach is better. Data independence means that once metadata were set, programmers and analysts alike will no longer have the hassle of redefining metadata. All they have to do is to tap on the database The more you get rid of redundancy, the more you have integrity on your data. No need to maintain multiple data since it is shared. Placing the wrong data on a particular field or repository is minimized, improving the quality of reports as you generate it. With the use of SQL and its tools, it is easy to recover when things go wrong. Organization must be ready when they finally decide to have a database system. Installation of new software, hardware, and consultancy cost money with more than a thousand dollars. You need to hire new personnel such as application programmers, analysts, database man, uh, managers, and administrators. Just like in any company that goes, uh, that goes changing old systems, others oppose the new system and may not welcome change. We need to convince them and show thoroughly the benefits in adapting a database approach to their organization.